Hello and welcome back to RimWorld and uh, yeah, let's keep on going. We will... We need to get more steel. We absolutely need more steel at this point because we don't have a lot of it. We need way more plasteel. Uh, we got a bunch because of uh, the mechanoids, but yeah, you, we, we still need more of it. Uh, gold is actually quite uh, okay. We we don't really need that much more of it uh, as it is right now, but more is always nice. And yeah, deep drilling is a slow process, so... We have dry thunderstorm again, okay. Um, I think I'm going to... Okay, AI. One of the ship uh, things which we need to research is now done. AI persuasion. And then, all oh right, we need the cryo sleep casket as well. So let's start that. Now, we have no idea what's in this patch here in the water, unless we build the deep drill on top of it. That's the only way of getting, like, a clue of what's actually there. Thankfully, you can actually move the deep drills, uh, the deep drill. Uh, so you don't need to build uh, a new one and then deconstructing it and then moving it. Okay, it's steel. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's build one more over here and see what that is. If this isn't like uranium or plasteel or anything valuable, I'm going to move it. And these things should be moved. And what we should do, spite creativity. Um, yeah, make a smelt metal from slag if we have less than 200 which we do at this point. I'm actually going to bump this up to 1000 because yeah, we are going to need a lot of steel. So having that is going to be helpful. And uh, oh, no, 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 no. The plague is a nasty one, if I remember correctly. It goes up very quickly. I got the plague, I got the plague and a bunch of other people as well. Uh, can we go and Griffin? Okay. Yeah, so we, we need... Um, we need Paulson and Shorter to do basically nothing but... Tending at this point. And uh, Paulson... Yeah, you can't have anything that is one. You can be allowed to do that, but that's about it. Yeah, they they need to get going with the tending, which they are, so that's good. But yeah, it needs to be uh, it needs to be done. Um, Jade, oh. Okay, uh, okay, uh, Jade is not necessarily something we need, but if we make like 
art with it. We could actually make something that is very, very valuable. So, but, but I think what I'm going to do is actually reinstall it and see what's over here. Pina. Okay, you actually do have the plague. That's annoying. Choco. Cleaning dirt. Let's move this. What's over here? Uranium. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. We actually have uranium at this point, which is good. Um, because, yeah, uranium uh, is a resource we are going to need quite a bit of. We are going to need quite a lot of that. Especially if we want like the better, like if we want the uranium slug turret, which has a really good range. And I think we do need uh, quite a few of them to defend against uh, against uh, attacks when we rev up the reactor for for the the ship. So, yeah, we 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 need to um, let's take a look at how is this going. It's forty three percent, and the problem is that we basically need to force. I want to use the good medicine. Uh, completely because yeah you never know if you get a bad tent you can actually like uh, you can actually lag behind quite massively in uh, getting in getting the what do you call it the immunity in terms of how far the the disease or infection, whatever it is, uh, has progressed. So, yeah, the but I think I'm actually going to... I'm going to make this episode and then I'm going to switch over to some EU4, I feel. Because I have had quite a lot of bad luck this session. Um... So I feel like taking a slight break so I don't get too angry for, for the game. Rolling the dice in a very bad manner and um, so on. But yeah, um, let's see. We are halfway-ish on this one. And when it comes to research at this point, what we need is we need the cryosleep casket. To actually be able to do the next one but what we actually need now is just starflight sensors vacuum cryosleep casket starship reactor and johnson tanaka drive that's it that's all we need uh, at this point now we might want other things like multi-barrel weapons or powered armor or pulse charge munitions like we might want stuff um, like research stuff and get them like smoke pop belts uh, plate armor flak armor mortars fire foam biofuel refining whatever to make our lives easier once we are ready to like press the button and start the ship up uh, so there, there might be stuff we need to need to research even though we have researched all of the the ship stuff um, and technically don't need more research if we don't want to now we haven't 
Okay. Uh, a group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive have arrived in a transport... Have arrived in transport pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. Oh, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. First off, restrict all of you. Uh, there's nobody out and about, right? Hopefully. No, no, they are all in, uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to take a, a peek at everybody who's, uh, has a plague, uh, P nice basically gained immunity, Tatiana as well, uh, Griffin is not really there yet, though I think we could get away with actually using him as well, which means do this. Um, who mm, who else was having? Camigo has already developed. Uh, me. I developed so but I can't fight anyway so that's really not much of a problem um, okay uh, basically everybody except Griffin but we could do Griffin if we want to uh, so let's do this we need to bring everybody in here uh, because wow that's a lot of them and um yikes and i will prioritize flicking that switch alan there ida there paulson there Purple here. And you three go here. Are you going all for yeah you're all going for for the for this here good we have turned on the turrets good are you taking it careful or what I'm not sure what, but uh, a lot of them has been damaged. If any one of them is going the long way around. Now, there's a lot of traps, so if one go there, that's fine. But it doesn't seem like that's what they are doing. Okay, they're basically waiting for each other. Now fighting at, against ciders is in melee is super dangerous, so we don't want to do that. One reached. Yeah, the, this uh, 
turret took uh, a beating, but who that went way better than it could have. Oh, and thankfully all of the um, the lancers died before they got in here. Ooh, yeah, that was um, that was a clench, like clinch uh, like yeah that, that was a not pleasant uh, experience um, it could have been so many times worse than what it actually was wow Yep, so let's speed up. Yeah, that was um, interesting. Spoils in two hours. Could you... No. Could we, like... <sighs> this is really annoying where I don't have enough space for stuff. Uh yeah I don't have enough kibble so it's um yeah we um do we have we actually gained any uranium I might just be blind and missing it all. There it is. Yeah, there it is. 64. Yeah, 64. That's all we have. Which is not that great. <laughs> but yeah, it's what it is. It's better than nothing. We could make one uranium uh, slug turret if we wanted to, but feel like that's a bit of a waste. Uh, no, we're not going to do increase that anymore. It is holding minus four in here, despite this not being properly sealed, but Yeah, hopefully we will be able to feed the animals enough. Mad rat, okay. You can fight it, like seriously, it's just a rat. Come on. And yeah, with how traps works, um, it is just not worth it um, to do anything other than um, than oh my god! And Choco hit the trap, of course. Uh, to actually do it in anything other than like wood. And since people, uh, your colonists, are stupid enough to step on them as well and trigger them, uh, that's also another reason why you don't want any, like, steel or 
plasteel or any other materials which do a lot more damage than wood. Because you can seriously just straight up die by stepping on one. <laughs> which is not going to be good if you want to keep your colonists alive. Now what I could do uh, is to have doors everywhere like this but that is just way too expensive way too expensive and it's a weak point as well so no not going to happen uh right we need to pick research and let's go for vacuum cryo sleep casket since it's the cheapest one it goes we have stuff done as quick as possible and yeah we have we haven't made much uranium really, like very little uranium has been used. I'm going to build one more here so they can't like try to reach around the corner. How is the home zone looking? Yeah, it is all of that and yeah, it's all of the things we actually want. So, okay, we don't need to do any anything special. Starvation, Choco, what? Oh, it's because everybody everybody's sleeping, but Oh, delete that. Uh, we need to move this because I want the hay. Uh, Sotix good, Strader, Pina. Once you have eaten, go and talk to them. Uh, let's see. Is He has five components. Let's take all of them. Like, all of them. Uh, he has a lot of plasteel. I want all of it. And here you can see why we needed a, why we need a lot of money. It's because yeah, just all the components and all his plasteel is five thousand one hundred and twenty six silver. Yikes! That's a lot of money. So yeah. Elephant Tusk, Thrumbo Horn. Uh, let's get rid of all these. Going to help a bit with how much money. Uh, we don't need more gold, so I'm not going to buy that. Um, I want to... I need the AI Persona course. I can't sell that. Uh, I want to keep the helium serum in case we have some really extreme injuries and stuff uh, for some reason and yeah we are going to pay 4285 and we are going to need more plastic than this so yeah and more advanced components but still this is well worth it because plasteel can be very very hard to get hold of very hard to get hold of dromedar calf let's put you up to butcher pina hit the trap of course of course why would you not hit the trap
it's almost like you would need a squid person standing in uh, the ends of the corridors and screaming it's a trap uh, for them to realize that it's actually a trap but maybe that's a bit extreme you're going for a walk okay you can't do hauling because you're you're stupid that way rabbit haul get me go haul i don't care you're going to do hauling purple haul me haul we need all of it to go where it needs to go uh that's one thing I don't really like with this, is that you have very limited control over certain stuff. And that's why I usually go with like, uh, oh, it's 34 degrees outside and it's not a heat wave. We need to, we need to change the clothing. Ranger hot, ranger hot. Ranger hot, melee hot. Ranger hot, ranger hot, melee hot. Oh, I'm starting to see double. So easy to just miss. And this one should be herbal at this point. Ranger hot. Yeah, that look, looks fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I usually want like use mods to increase the um, to increase basically the control I have, not necessarily make it easier or harder, but more more like I have control over. And yes, that means it's more micromanaged, but I'd rather do micromanaged and be able to control stuff than not being able to control stuff. And we need to do all the hauling. Alan, do hauling. Shota, I don't care that you're watching art or something. Hall. And we are coming up to the end of the episode. Uh, all this. You're going to make some kibble. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then you need to haul. Yeah, and now, now we have enough kibble in the storage that it's going to say, okay, we don't need to make more kibble. And I hope you didn't hear that. But yeah, the ba the, we're almost at 30 minutes and, um, and I think I'm going to take a bit of a break and then do you for because yeah I, I feel like I I play this quite a lot right now and uh, with the bad the bad stuff that happened I think I need a bit of a break um, I, we did one reload but yeah I feel like that was a bit a bit too much for what this series is going is about uh, this series is more let's get to the starship and uh, do that rather than this now I could just do that but I want to like show how to actually get there first and what it like entails like how all the hardships along the way which is very easy to forget that it ramps up very quickly once you get 
big and you have a lot of wealth uh like if the game considers you to have a lot of wealth in terms of items or quality or whatever it might be then yeah it's going to get exponentially harder every single time uh, so yeah but we have now come to the end of the episode so let's save override there we go and yeah with that we are going to call this episode here so thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one